Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create a dashboard in Salesforce CRM. So once you log into Salesforce of course you will come to the home screen. Now in order to create a new dashboard what we need to do is head over to the dashboards page up the top here, use the drop down menu and then we are on the dashboards. Now in order to create a new one what we need to do is press the new dashboard on the right hand side here, select new dashboard and we need to give our dashboard a name so I'm just going to call this test give it a description if you so wish and then you can allocate a folder for this particular dashboard now we've got a number of different folders here you can create a new folder if you so wish or just stick it into the private dashboards which is always good so select folder and then just press the create button and from here we have got a plain canvas where we can go ahead and start adding various different components so if you press the plus component button on the right hand side here, we can go ahead and create lots of different components. Now there are reports that have been generated by Salesforce or you can go ahead and generate your own reports and I will be addressing that in a, another video. But feel free to scroll around and you can use the search up the top here. So let's say if we want to do contact, we can then search sample number of contacts for example or if you want to do opportunity if I can spell correctly, uh, opportunity, closed lost opportunities, closed one opportunities by month. So let's say we want to see all the closed one or closed lost opportunities by month. You can see here we get a number of different options in how we want to display this information, uh, funnels, etc. Obviously these two are the, a, a good choice. And then you've got opportunity on all X axes and Y axes. You can't change these. You can get rid of closed month if you so wish. So opportunity owner by sum of amount. So if we got rid of that, you can see that Nick Boardman has done £462,000. Or if you press plus group, you can then choose to close by month as well. And then once you're happy with that new component, you can press the add button. And then you can just drag it around. You'll drag it around the screen here and position the dashboard as you so wish. Feel free to press add component and go ahead and find all the relevant information that you want to be adding onto your dashboard. You can really go out and build really useful dashboards that give you a wealth of information from Salesforce system. Putting some time in obviously pays dividends in the long run when you can just see the data on the fly as soon as you log in to your Salesforce system or head over to your dashboards page. Now I'm not going to go over all the various components because we'll be here for hours. But once you've done that, once you're happy with all the components that you've added, just press the save button and that will save your dashboard. And then once you are finished with this particular dashboard, just press the done button. You also have the cog here and you can make some relevant changes if you want. If you want to change the, the, uh, the folder or view dashboard as me, another person, you can change the grid sizes and the colors as well if you so wish. So, you know, a few different options there. Um, you can filter as well, you can add different filters, let's say billing address, etc. Account ID, account owner, work your way through these. Again, you've got them for all the different modules or entities inside of the Salesforce CRM system. So it's, it's really useful, good to have a play around. And once you're happy with that, press save, press done, and then you have got your new dashboard available for you on the dashboards page. Now if we head back to the dashboards, you can see this is the most recent dashboard and the private dashboard we, where the folder we saved it in is also available. So in order to then go ahead and view our new dashboard, just press the test as the dashboard and you can see all the information. And that is how to create and view dashboards in Salesforce CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create a dashboard in Salesforce CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.